In this video, I am painting Daphne Blake from Scooby-Doo. This particular figure is from East Sea Monster. Check out the Patreon. After sanding and cleaning up, I am priming this model with a brown aerosol from Ace Hardware. On the shadow areas of the flesh tone, I'm using a purple from Apple Barrel. To highlight the flesh areas, I am using white. There's a lot of spatter here, which typically would be a bad thing with an airbrush, but for skin tones, it's really not. You want a bit of variation. So the white spattering like that kind of helps. Though if that isn't an effect you're going for, you can try thinning your paint a little more and turning your pressure up a little on the airbrush. This particular paint set does not come with a specific flesh tone. So what I'm doing is mixing white one to one with brown. It's not the best flesh tone, but for cartoony figures, it's not bad looking going over all the flesh with this color and I'm letting a little bit of that purple show through not necessarily trying to get full coverage on the shadowed areas after I've got all the flesh tone painted I add a little white to that original flesh color and go over all the areas that need to be highlighted Here I'm using a combo of magenta, brown, and white in equal parts to go over all the parts of skin that fold, crease, bend, flex, that sort of thing. On the face, I'm going around the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the neck, the ears. And for Daphne's hair, I'm using a one-to-one -one red and orange color combo over the brown primer. The brown acts as a nice shadow color, making this paint job a good bit easier. For the scarf, I'm using the green from the set. Again, these are all apple barrel paints. And blue for the underwear. I wanted a color that contrasts pretty highly with the rest of the model. And this is it. Daphne's dress is purple. The brown primer adds a lot of warmth that you wouldn't get with a black or white primer. And as you can tell, I've masked off the flesh with some silly putty. thought about buying actual masking putty, but it's like 10 times the cost, and I don't know if it's worth it. If you've used both masking putty and silly putty to mask off, let me know if there's a big difference. Painting some details here, the belt, just using black. This gold color is one of the only colors that did not come from this Apple Barrel set. This is a Vallejo bright gold.
painting the rim of the magnifying glass and the lips with a combo of the white and red that I used earlier for the hair. Painting the scleras white and the irises green. I haven't mixed too many original colors out of this set. Typically what I'm doing is using whatever the base color is. As you can see here for the iris, I have added a little white to the green while leaving that dark edge exposed. Coming in now for the pupils with a dot of black. And painting the reflection in the eyes with a spot of white. This absolutely is not the most realistic paint job I've ever done. The figure itself is a bit cartoony looking, which is reasonable considering Daphne is a cartoon character. I figured I'd go with bright, vibrant colors. Okay, now for the magnifying glass, I'm using a spot of clear resin. Don't know if you noticed, but I printed the hand clear. I'm using a bit of liquid resin here and a UV light to clear up the fog on the magnifying glass. For these pumpkins, I'm painting the highlighted areas in white and then going over that with a jack-o'-lantern orange. Now for the flocking. This is sawdust that I've added green paint to, let dry. Now I've added a bit of PVA glue to it and I'm just kind of lumping it on the tombstone. I'm hoping it ends up looking like moss. Using a little more of that PVA glue going over the base that's going to get flocking. Static grass in this particular instance. Coming in with a brush and just breaking up some of those big blobs of glue. Not going for a necessarily even coat here. I'm using a homemade static grass applicator. This creates a static charge, which makes the grass stand on end. So it looks a little more naturalistic than if you just poured it on the base. Be careful, this thing will shock the shit out of you. And to put the figure together, I'm using a medium viscosity super glue. I may at some point want to magnetize this. So I'm just going with a little super glue. East Sea Monster did a great job keying this model. Everything fits together very well. Pretty nice view as you put on a scarf. I will say the head fits a little weird in the hair. Maybe I'm doing something wrong here. Very possible. Now to cover up where the tombstone goes if you're just interested in painting Daphne. And to cover up where Velma goes, I've also printed off these pumpkins that are meant to be used with the other bases that come with the file. And this is the finished product. And here's Daphne and Velma. And if you've made it this far in the video and haven't given the video a like or subscribe to the channel yet, I'd appreciate it if you would. Hope you enjoy. If you have any questions or comments, absolutely leave them in the comment section.
I'll definitely get back to you. If you haven't watched the Velma video yet, here it is. Check it out. Thanks a lot. Bye.